To begin, remove the front wheel from the vehicle. Remove the bolt holding the brake line to the bracket on the strut body. Remove the nut from the bolt to the lower strut bushing. Detach the cotter pin from the upper ball joint. Loosen the nut from the ball joint and bring it flush with the bottom of the threading. Using a mallet, hammer the nut to dislodge the ball joint. You can now remove the nut. Under the hood, remove the three nuts holding the top mount to the strut tower. You can now remove the bolt going through the lower strut bushing and control arm. Pull down on the control arm and remove the strut from the wheel well. Slide the Raceland coilover into position in the wheel well. Align the three top mount studs to their position on the strut tower and secure it with the supplied nuts. Lift the lower control arm onto the lower coilover bushing and reinstall the factory nut and bolt. Position the upper ball joint in place and reinstall the factory nut and cotter pin. Bolt the brake line bracket to the coilover mount with the factory bolt. You can now install the wheel as the installation for this corner is complete. To begin the rear, remove the wheel from the vehicle. Remove the nut and bolt holding the sway bar end link to the control arm. Remove the nut and bolt holding the lower shock bushing to the lower control arm. Remove the nut and bolt holding the lower control arm to the hub of the vehicle. In the trunk, remove the bottom carpet and tire cover. Pull the upper trunk trim to unclip the trim clips and remove the accessory hooks on each side. Unclip the trunk lighting wire and you can now pull the top carpet trim from the trunk. Remove the side trays and unbolt each accessory hook on each side of the base of the trunk. Unbolt each accessory hook located at the backside of the trunk. Remove the rest of the carpet trim clips and remove the side carpet from the trunk of the vehicle. You will now have access to the rear upper strut mounts. Remove the three nuts holding the strut to the strut tower. In the wheel well, remove the bolts holding the fender liner to the wheel well around the strut mount. You can now pull the fender liner back enough to access the remaining two bolts to remove from the top mount. You will want to loosen, but not remove, the nut at the inner bushing of the lower control arm to allow for the OEM strut to be removed. Pull down on the lower control arm and remove the strut from the vehicle. 
Slide the Raceland coilover into position in the strut tower by aligning the three top mount studs. Secure the top mount to the strut tower with the supplied nuts. Place the side trunk carpet back into position and secure it with the removed trim clips. Reinstall the accessory clips at the back and base of the trunk. Position the side tray back into place against the side trim. Slide the upper trunk trim into position and secure it back to the trunk with the previously removed clips and accessory hooks making sure to clip the trunk light wiring into the housing on the trim. Place the lower carpet into the trunk and into position. Reinstall the nuts around the strut tower that hold the fender liner in place in the wheel well. Lift the control arm onto the coilover mount and reinstall the nut and bolt holding the coilover to the control arm. Reinstall the nut and bolt holding the lower control arm to the hub of the vehicle. Reattach the sway bar end link and leveling sensor to the control arm with the factory hardware. Retighten the nut at the inner bushing of the lower control arm. Reinstall the rear wheel as the installation for this corner is complete.